Right, so this first one is... Uh, oh, this might be the second one. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the Winter Classic stuff in the Boston one or whether I'm going to do Winter Classic separately and the Boston one separately. So let's just assume I'm doing them separately. Right. But I'm going to include other hockey-related things in this Boston Classic... Boston In this Winter Classic one. Okay, so... On the second day that we were in Boston, we got the train to um, TD Garden. There's a station that stops right outside of it. We got the train there because um, Mum wanted to go to the pro shop and buy some things. And of course, I'm always happy to buy some things. So we got the train there. It was very easy to do, surprisingly. Um, it was really only one stop away, so that was also heaps good. Uh, when we got there, though, we did go into the shop, have a look around. Um, I did buy a couple of things. I bought this one first, this winter classic t-shirt, which um, is a Penguins and Bruins one. And also I bought this uh, Freddy t-shirt because um, uh, I like him. They actually had sold out of a lot of different players in a lot of different sizes, but um, I I like young Freddy. He looks like butter wouldn't melt in his mouth, but he's real punchy. And I enjoy that. He's also a good player, of course. He's not just punchy. But um, if you looked at him, you'd be very surprised at how punchy he is. Uh, yeah, so that was very good. Mum got um, a Bergeron t-shirt with a Pooh Bear on it, which she was excited because she was going to be able to wear that to um, the Classic, um, along with her Pooh Bear beanie, which was very exciting. So that's what we did. Then we went outside. Um, of the station, had a look at the outside of TD Garden, saw the Bobby or statue, took some photos with that. That was really great. Um, just had a nice time thinking, holy shit, we're actually in Boston. Um, then went to uh, Frank's Pastry, I think it's called Frank's Pastry, and got uh, a cannoli there from the little outlet at that station. Um, we got a peanut butter one to share, and it was so good. You know when everyone says, when you go to Boston, you have to have a cannoli. Oh, 100% you do. And it was very good. Would recommend. Uh, especially because I love peanut butter. But I mean, even if you don't, you just get another flavour. They've got heaps of them. And they fill them fresh when you're there. So they're like, they're not, they don't get soggy, I guess. Anyway, that's not hockey related, but that's something we did on the same day. Then the next morning, we moved hotels to uh, the Verb Hotel, which is this really great boutique music hotel that's right across the road from Fenway and I booked that hotel probably five months before the Winter Classic even before I knew I could go to Boston even before I had a passport and even before we had tickets because it was right across the road and we were expecting it to snow during um, the Classic and then we'd be like we don't know how to get around well we don't know anywhere in Boston we don't know where anything is but also we don't know how to get around in snow um, we don't we don't live in snow if we have to walk too far, there's a good chance A, we'll get lost because we won't be able to see anything. And two, we'll fall over because, again, we don't know really how to get around in snow. Anyway, <laughs> it was still great. It was still great because the hotel was very nice. But we didn't need to be so close because uh, it was actually a beautiful day. It was um, the sun was shining. It was unseasonably warm, as is the theme very often when I'm on holiday unseasonably warm it's because I tell people I bring the sunshine out of my ass but um no it was really it was a very very nice day so uh we went to the next thing you know walked to the stadium literally a couple of hundred meters if that by the time we got to the gate we needed to go to um when we were there Mum bought me this uh penguins beanie um which was very nice it was for my birthday and also I got a pin, this pin, is that working? Wait, nope, no, you fucker. Oh, there, there it is. Is that it? Anyway, this pin, because you know I love pins. Also I got a puck, because of reasons. Well, what else would I get? Thank God it wasn't a football game. Imagine trying to buy a basketball. Anyway, you can't see it, but it throws me to classic things and it has pictures around that. Um, and that was before we went into the ground. Then we got into the ground and Fenway is amazing. It is like, it's, I don't even know what to say. Like when we got into the um, stadium park, 
it was just so good like everything about it was just so good like you just really felt like you were somewhere special and I know that sounds a bit wanky um yeah it probably sounds a lot wanky but it did feel very special it does have a very historic feel to it it does if you feel like you're in a place where like millions of other people have been before you and have had a really great time I probably had some bad times but anyway mostly had a good time but it was um amazing when we got in there well we got to our seats <laughs> so we were, we were pretty close so i think we we're about six rows back in one of the i don't even know what those seats are called now anyway i'll put in some footage at some point around here so you can see where we were sitting how far away we were from the rink <laughs> So we had obviously having no idea of the size of Fenway and also having no real understanding of how big a hockey rink is having never been to a game before. Not in real life, I mean you're not in an abstract way but real life you don't know. Uh, we were like how close do we need to be so we can see and how far is too far. I'll tell you this, we're probably a little bit too close. Um, it was good because we could see when the teams came out we could see them very well and um, we could hear everything very well, but it was close. It was, it was because of the because of the elevation of the stands, and the elevation of the rink, and then the boards. Probably couldn't see the park for about halfway down, so it was like we could see it down one end, but not down the other. You had to stand up the whole game, which um, wasn't too bad. I mean, they're only twenty minute periods, but um, yeah, it was it was funny because I look. I didn't really think there was a bad now that I've seen it I don't really think there's a bad seat um, there but when you're trying to plan it you just have no idea of the scale or whatever it's quite difficult anyway um, it was amazing though like I'll put in some game footage I'm obviously assuming I'm gonna know how to do that We were sat in a very good section, like it was like it was very pleasant, a lot of people getting along with each other. Um, you can take it right now! Team 2 can take it right now! Oh, come on now! Yeah. We can right skater over here for Team 2! Zach is going to finish it up for Team 2! Reagan! Reagan. Who's come on, Reagan! Oh, Reagan's moving! Woo. And there it is! Congratulations, you guys can take home the flag! The two dudes that were sitting in our row next to us were really lovely. Mum, of course, made some new best friends because they were all Bruins fans. Uh, look, the majority were. It was funny because we talked about it beforehand that because they're both black and yellow teams, um, the contrast on TV is going to be a bit, might be a bit flat. And even the contrast in the ground, obviously, you're not going to know who's going for who because everybody looks the same. But I tell you, when those goals were scored, you can 100% tell who's going for who because there was a lot of very, very, very happy black and yellow people and some less happy black and yellow people. But, um, anyway, it was just a, man, it was so good. And I can't believe how nice the weather was. And I just can't believe just what a great day it was. Um, the Bruins won 2-1, uh, which made mum very happy. And I was like, look, and she's like, well, because I've only seen the Bruins once, I was like, fine, I, you know, I also like the Bruins, who doesn't? 
But I was like, you know, I hope they win too because, you know, then you'll get to see the hug because she told me 400 times, I just want to see the goalie's hug. And I was like, well, I hope you get to see the hug. And I really, I really meant that. In actual fact, when they won and I saw, I saw from where we were, I saw Jeremy and Linus's arms go up because, you know, they're already tall and then they're on their knife shoes and then they've got their gloves and everything on. So they're already like big and I'm like they're back they're about to do what they're doing the hug they're doing the hug behind the zebra they're doing the hug she missed the hug I did she missed the hug live even though I was pointing it out and shouting at her it's right there it's right there anyway she missed it they still won they still hugged she didn't see it um on the on the video but uh not in the real life which is pretty funny actually because you know <laughs> no no in like in a, it was funny because i had said to you look it's fine i hope i just and i actually did say this to one of mum's new best friends uh mike look i just hope everybody has a good day and i really meant that uh, and one of the things was because i knew i was going to see the penguins two more times i did say really hope you get to see the goalies hug and then <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm a bitch I'm sorry what do you expect you know me I re you already know this it's not a surprise um yeah so then the day ended didn't want it to be over and it was so yeah, I mean obviously it can't go on forever but it was funny in the end I wasn't going to have any drinks because I hate I hate waiting in line for drinks. I hate waiting in line at the toilet. And I hate missing the thing that I'm actually there to see. But I did end up getting a couple of um, seltzers. But their cans are bigger than ours. And they don't write on them what's a standard drink. So um, you don't know what I are. And it's a weird thing because they didn't always write. I'm pretty sure. For, well, from my drinking age, they didn't always have that, what the standard drink was. I think that came after I'd already been drinking for a little while. I don't know. I can't remember. But... Um, yeah, it's just not on the can. And it's weird how you kind of get used to that, thinking like, oh, that's all right, this is like 1.5, or this is just, you know, for your own tracking purposes, I guess. Make sure you don't get too loose. I mean, unless you want to get loose, but if you don't want to get too loose. Yes, I know. Just good luck. Just wait till we stand up and it hits you, I guess. <laughs> um, but no, it was such a good experience. Um, in terms of game watching, like not not the most amazing game watching experience but atmosphere environment just experience for a first game was just amazing and i i'm pretty sure we're both happy that was the first game do you agree absolutely yeah i mean look any first game would have been a great first game but that was pretty it was pretty amazing and would 100 percent recommend um because going to like for us going to fenway um, was what I imagine it's like when some people when they come to Adelaide and they go to Adelaide Oval for the first time you know and they especially if they're big cricket fans you know and they've watched cricket forever and they've seen that scoreboard that hill those trees and when they get there and they see it in person what a different experience it is it's probably the same if you go to Lords if you watch cricket or I don't know whatever those places are that people watch tennis I don't, I don't watch tennis I don't know but that, ex that feeling when you go to a place that has a lot of history and a lot of memories so anyway definitely we'll go back to Fenway to watch a baseball game someday I don't know when anyway um, I don't want this to go for too long and it's already gone a little bit longer than I thought it would so I will um, see you soon I guess love you, miss you oh I forgot one thing before we were we left the um, hotel because we only stayed at the hotel near Fenway for one night and then we moved to a, a different hotel near Boston Common but before we left we went to the pro shop of course and uh, got a hat a new era hat they had the most hats I've ever seen in a shop ever It was like a whole wall of hats and then you went around the wall and there was more and that was just like adult hats because then there was more hats in the kids section 
that's crazy i've never seen so many hats anyway um i got the new era ones because that's the type of hat that i prefer and i got a fitted hat because again that is the type of hat that i prefer even though i am getting used to these uh, flatter hats that i've got now the ones that have got the looping in anyway don't worry about that the point is I got this iconic hat from Fenway and that was great. Alright, now for real bye.